Hi, it's Tomas speaking. Um, so in this video, I wanted to show how the oven was built for my uh, wood fire pizza oven. So basically, this is the state after um, the concrete has uh, dried. I started to build the side walls and also I put the extra layer of special bricks that are resistant for high temperatures. So, so I started to build these guys and I went up with them, I would say to five bricks. And in the meantime, actually, I was trying to plan somehow the oven. The same was done in the uh, grill place, so uh, we can see the, the extra layer of thermal resistant, uh, let's say, bricks. And this is actually a place where we can see the concrete base and then the bricks covering it. The basic concept started uh, from um, measurement of my uh, oven. It was somehow predetermined by the size of the base that I had. The oven sides will be built of these special bricks as well, the thermoresistive bricks. And uh, therefore the regular wall that is on the sides, I tried to reinforce as well. So each layer has this special type of reinforcement from steel and um, it continues over uh, next layers. We can see it here uh, with the reinforcement. And then this is the overview of a grill. Same for the grill, the reinforcement is there. So to determine the size of the oven, I put some bricks somehow simulating the walls and then I measure one meter which is approximately I don't know 15 inch of uh, width and then the length of it is uh, around 45 inch so it, it should give me like a three pizza each size of 15 inches approximately um, or three breads perhaps of this size. So to get the concept of this, I started to build uh, um, some extra support uh, just to see how it potentially could look, whether I'm happy with this shape. It needs some extra planning. So I was doing it here, as you can see on these photos. So I could move that shape up and down and then I actually put a layer of the bricks to simulate how it will um, be look like potentially. Um, I watched some videos on the YouTube on building of these pizza ovens and actually went to the nearest store with the hardware for this oven, let's say makers. What I found there is um, that they said to build it more professionally, there are special bricks. So I will show it in a while in the next part of this video. The one I'm showing here is just a concept. I basically don't um, uh, suggest to build it that way because it, it is too wide for the concrete parts and then the oven can start cracking in that th those places when it gets the temperature. Okay, so let's see what I got from the local hardware store. All right, so here we can see uh, some stuff that I brought from the store and also isolated wool that is uh, resistive up to temperature of um, 11 hundredths of degrees Celsius. And then this part actually shows the um, the gate to my oven and in the back there is um, a top uh, of, of the oven so uh, we can see the bricks are very nicely cut to make 
the shape and actually very nice axial, axial uh, sh shape will, should be formed with them. This is the material actually. So we can see that more pinky part are the bricks for the top. The, the, the whiter ones are for uh, uh, walls and then the red ones are actually for the flooring. Um, they told me that the flooring is also a kind of important issue because if you get it with the right bricks and then you put some gravel underneath, you get the right temperature, they're accumulated and then you don't get the bottom of your pizza or bread being burned. Okay, for, for tools, a few words about tools. You need a very powerful tool to cut this type of brick. Um, I was using two kilowatt power jig with special uh, blade that I found from a local hardware store. Um, also, what is important, there is a lot of dust, so it's it's very good to to uh, immerse the, the brick for a few minutes in water before you cut it. Um, it's really tough work, I would say, to cut those. Previously, for regular bricks, I was using the very small one, but the small one uh, was just gone after was, I was trying to, to, to cut these thermoresistive bricks. They are very hard, so you need really good tool. Uh, I, I highly recommend to get something to cover your uh, uh, nose and uh, mouth to prevent uh, getting that dust into your uh, lungs. Uh, also, eyes is something important usually, so to, to, to limit the number of dust coming into eyes, it's, it's, it's good to have a cover. Uh, so, let's, let's start the work. I was lucky to have one very nice and sunny day when I started to build uh, the oven. So first, actually, I took the bricks, I, I, I start to to put them. So I started with the front and then with the walls. And this short part will, will show you how the walls were built. There are two extra parts that I needed actually for the front. Uh, one is on the left hand side here. Uh, this is the frame, let's say chassis that will hold my uh, doors from the other side. Um, and this is the cover. I actually don't know how to put the plasters for this type of construction, so I decided to just purchase the simple metal um, black painted cover that that I will use for um, Owen. This is where we can see how the doors were installed. This is the let's say frame and of course all this needs to be done quite precisely I mentioned earlier on about the wool that was thermoresistive for high temperatures I just cut it into the pieces and then I put it onto the wall just to prevent the temperature to escape too quickly through the left and right hand side wall and then I mark some line where to start the building the walls and I basically make some of this special concrete to that is also thermoresistive concrete for this type of works and I just put it layer by layer so in front we can see here the extra cutout this is for the doors and this is actually how the left side wall is looking after it's done and this is the right side wall almost done one brick is missing so this the, the 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 space between the bricks is about one millimeter it is the typical space for this type of concrete so you can see the walls are ready on the next day i started to uh, uh, to make the floor uh, it wasn't that sunny as you can see. The floor is kind of simple. You just fill it with the gravel. Your start point is the, 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 the doors. So you want to make it flat from the doors to, to the end of the oven. 
and you use special tool just to compress it and when this is done then the bricks can be laid on it and you need to cut out the smaller parts just to to fit it 100% so this is how it looks when it's done so we got the walls we got the floor so the next one is the ceiling to make a ceiling that was the initial concept but as i mentioned we we purchased the, the different bricks um, so that's the first part of the ceiling being done here you can see the second part being built the the, the concrete is uh, getting hard after an hour or two but i kept it dry for two or three hours so these are the first two say access or how to call it um, of, of the ceiling that was built and we we also made the the front this is the cutout for the doors on the left and right side and this is the doors being installed so what was important here is that there is no space or no leakage of air the only entry could be from the doors, not from the sides. We don't want the air to penetrate the inside of the oven because it could lose the temperature too quickly. So everything was done quite uh, precisely. And this is the doors frame being done. And then the other thing you can notice here is extra space that is between the door and the top this is the space where we want the smoke to 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 be collected and then it will go to the end of the oven basically the idea is that you put a fire in here in the beginning of the oven and then the smoke will go to the end so the the full oven can be heated and this is how it looks when it was closed from the front so next step was to make um, another let's say layer of uh, ceiling but for this one we need to make the output for exhaust and then with uh, the tool we prepare the bricks and build it so it was quite quick and then the next part which was the other side of the uh, connection and finally when this was done we put the let's say connector part full ceiling now done and ready okay now let's roll back a little bit just to see how we built the exit so the idea here was to make a simple gate that we could open and close but when the oven is heated and ready we need to remove the the particles of coal uh, that is made from wood after be, the wood is burned. So initially you can just um, move it from the front of the oven. But the idea I had here was to open the extra gate and just push it out. So you can use it on the grill that is next to the oven. And uh, it's not wasted basically. I started to build that. So I cut the extra shape for the gate. This is how it looks from the inside. And then this is how it looks when it was covered with the second layer of, of bricks. We can open and close it just by pulling this part here. But we can see that the escape of the heat from the oven is really limited. Uh, of course, to operate it, we need some extra mechanisms here. Um, because it will be quite hot during operation so we, we, we can just put the hand inside so let's see how the oven looks like after it's done I will talk about building the grill in the separate uh, part of my video. <laughs> 